Guys, before we get started, this video is the first of many videos that we have in our online training program. So if you like this video, be sure to let us know, hit the like and subscribe button. Also, check out the link in the description to gain access to the rest of the courses that we have. Guys, this video, I basically just want to show you the different types of bags that you would use when practicing uh, Muay Thai. Now, if you already have a bag, I don't suggest straight away going out and buying yourself a new bag. You can make do, even if like for, for Muay Thai, even if you have a bag like this, not probably not my go-to bag, but if this is what you have, you can absolutely work with it. So, this is probably the best all-rounder. A, a bag like this, floor to ceiling is what this is called. I think this one is five or six foot. Um, I'd probably go with a six foot. That way you can punch the head and throw leg kicks at the same time. The good thing about this bag is obviously the versatility of, of the different shots you can throw, head and leg, but also if you get a little bit of movement with it, meaning that you can practice moving around with your opponent. As it moves, you can follow it. It's a little more versatile like that. The downside of this is being a little bit lighter, and this bag you can get heavier ones, um, but it's somewhere in between what I'm going to show you next. But um, the, the downside of this being that it moves is sometimes when you throw hard punches early on in the combination, the bag moves too much and makes it hard for you to practice a long combination. So that is one of the limitations in, in this bag, being that it's light, um, but you obviously can get heavier. Now, this one here, this is designed mostly for boxing, but if this is what you have, you can absolutely make do with it in the beginning. As you get more progressive, you may decide to invest in another bag. But this one here, obviously great for boxing. I can practice punching it. I can also practice throwing knees and body kicks. But where the limitations lie is leg kicks. I can't throw leg kicks uh, unless what you may do if you have this bag and you want to specifically practice leg kicks, you can take the bag off and put it against the pole and practice kicking into the bag that way. So that's one of the ways you can practice leg kicks, but unfortunately, you can't put it into your combination when you practice in the bag. So, another downside of this being that it's light is again, it does move a lot when I punch it, meaning that I have to basically adapt to my bag. Now, in the beginning, when we're learning, it's a good idea to, to control the variable. So, if, if I want to practice, just work on the real basic stuff, I don't want to be thinking about the bag moving around, that comes later on as we get more experience. So, if you have a partner, they can hold the bag for you like this, can help a lot. Or you, if you can somehow find a way to secure it, I'm not really sure, I don't want to suggest too much. Um, it all depends on the environment that you have, but um, finding a way to secure it so that it doesn't swing too much can also help you practice just in the beginning. Once you get, get more experience, you'll find ways, as in you'll pretend like this is an opponent where you punch it and it goes backwards and then it gets to the ropes. Once it's sort of at the end of the swing, end of the pendulum, that's sort of simulating the, your opponent hitting the ropes. It's like in the beginning, bang, bang, it's on the rope. I can keep it there while I throw my combination. So, some limitations, pros and cons of that. This bag here, which is uh, my go-to bag, which I'll be using and we'll be using to demonstrate this uh, through throughout this, this series, this, this tutorial series, is uh, very, very heavy. So this one is upwards of could be more than 160 kilos, I'm not really sure. I really struggle, I, don't, I can't pick it up. So it's quite heavy. Um, and the, one, of the, so one of the things you have to be aware of in this bag is the fact that it's so heavy, it's very hard to secure. So you need a structure. This we've got it hanging off an eye beam off the ceiling, so it's not going anywhere. But this, you want to be careful, it might rip your house down. If you go into town on it, it's swinging around. But that also, that is one of, the, one of the good things about this bag, is it doesn't swing so much because it's heavy, which, like I said, when I'm, when I'm gonna be showing you guys these combinations, rather than me stop the bag every time, is I'll be able to throw it on it. It doesn't move too much on it. So, this is my favorite bag to hit. I love this bag. Uh, get it from Fairtex, no affiliation. I'm not sponsored by Fairtex, but at Fairtex, if you wanna send me some money, Feel free to, I do love this bag. Uh, one of the things that you can do is put it on the ground so it, the bulk of the weight is resting on the floor. I've seen a lot of guys do that. They sort of have it sitting down and they just have the top attached so it doesn't fall over. Absolutely good way and you can, um, and you can get away with 
Again, it's not going to move at all if it's resting on the ground. It takes a lot of rags to fill this thing, You're like a lot of rags, so be aware of that as well. So I'm going to do most of the demonstrations during this uh, course on this bag, just to control the variables. When we eventually get a little more experience, and we may be demonstrating on a bag swinging, then we'll use some of the other bags. But most of the time, this will be the one that we use. So for you guys, if you're wondering, if you haven't invested in a bag yet, I recommend using the floor to ceiling bag. It's not so big. I recommend using that and just not hitting as hard as you can on every shot, but just learning the balance, learning your distancing in the beginning. We can focus on power later on. So hopefully that helps guys. Um, those are your three main options. There, are, Of course, there are many other styles of bags, but this would be the first ones that I'd start with and then work from there.